Peace and love, peace and love. What's good, man? Y'all, I appreciate y'all that's been patient with me. Like, I mean, I guess for the most part, the videos have still been uh, being completed. I, I mean, like, not complete. That ain't a good word. The videos are still coming, you know, and um, like I said, it's not like uh, when they were coming every day. Um, I mean, I think that was a time, but I think it's just a different time now that, you know, things are just where they are right now, you know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not having videos every day. So, um, just whenever they do come, I'm, I'm grateful. Let me put my charger up. Whenever they do come, I'm grateful that they come, you know, and I try to just speak when it's time to speak, you know, and hopefully people receive uh, what they need to receive or not what they need to receive because it's really for me. Uh, so hopefully people are receiving something from this. I hope this is beneficial to people just like it is to me. Um, so I share it in case it is beneficial. So uh, I was just thinking like um uh, When, when I first, or I don't want really to say when I first, I say a lot of my life, right? Growing up, well, yeah, I can remember in my neighborhoods, um, and I say mainly, I would say this really started. Or at least I recognized it. Or, or I guess the settings were just right when I moved to Oklahoma Avenue in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Um, when I moved to Oklahoma, man, it was like I think I got I got pretty popular and, and not like I didn't say important <laughs> I said popular I, I got popular in my neighborhood because I was fast uh, I played every sport and you know, maybe to maybe to the organizations, the teams that I played for, maybe maybe I wasn't maybe I wasn't uh, a superstar to those teams. Maybe I wasn't good enough on those teams. Whatever it was, I wasn't. I wasn't. And and I, after flag football. <laughs> When I played flag for the Tiny Vikings in, in Winston, like, I, w I was really good then for what it was, for being a flag football quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can remember I would be in the, 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 the Winston-Salem Chronicle pretty often, my flag season. I wish I, I, I knew a way to access those papers and, and just see those clippings, man, from – back in the day, but I don't know if they even have a way to go back in time like that to the, the 90s, you know, um, what was being printed then to even find those articles about me, but that would be dope if, if I could find those. I tried to look one time, I was not successful, um, so, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I was, uh, 
after flag football, it was like my football career went, you know what I'm saying, crash and burn as far as organizational football. But in my neighborhood, I was Deion Sanders slash Michael Vick slash, you know what I'm saying, man, what, slash Michael Jordan slash Gary Payton slash, you know what I'm saying, slash Usain Bolt slash, <laughs> what are you, Barry Bonds, uh, uh, yeah, you know, I was, I was good in, in the street playing ball, you know, uh, my skills were able to be utilized there, my, so, my skills were able to be utilized there, but in organizational sports, mm -mm, mm -mm. uh, it wasn't like that, well, so, sometimes, certain sports, Basketball, baseball, I was all right. I don't know, man. It'd it be little things. I think football was probably my worst sport, but probably what I wanted the most. I wanted. I think I wanted the football career most, I think. And I think that's why I really just said, you know what I'm saying, bump it after a while. Like, when I wasn't necessarily considered uh, – to be good in the sport that I wanted to be considered good in. It was like, man, that kind of deflated my athletic dreams. But my point is all of that was when I moved to Oklahoma, it was like, it seemed like my skills seemed to be noticed. My skills seemed to be valued. My skills seemed to be appreciated, you know. Everybody in the neighborhood was like, Every time we played sports, they knew it was good. You know what I'm saying? We could do certain things. And I wasn't the only one. I'm not even trying to say like I was the the superstar in the neighborhood. Like everybody needed me. I ain't saying that. And I'm not saying that because we had some some other cats that was, that was good too. You know what I'm saying? That was better, faster. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I know for sure, look, <laughs> Monte Payne. I wasn't gonna say no name. We don't say names on that, but I mean, I don't think it's mine. But anyway, my table, my table's fast, man. Like, good. You know, it was like he was so quick. Anyway, I'm talking about a lot of stuff. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I, I was just trying to say it was other people in the neighborhood that was good at things, but this neighborhood was the neighborhood that, you know what I'm saying, really kind of, uh, you know what I'm saying? It made me feel like, man, I was I, I could hang with him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that kind of built my confidence. And I went on to high school and, you know, attempted to play ball in high school. But it, it didn't work out. But I feel like everything has a purpose. Everything has a plan. Everything has a reason. It's a reason why uh, I, I wasn't, you know, Known in sports, you know, and, and my thinking is maybe because I wasn't supposed to do that. Maybe that's not what was supposed to be my final thing. You know what I'm saying? For me to be uh, the athlete, you know, because there was some other stuff that I was supposed to do, which is what I'm doing now, which is bringing up what I was thinking about with all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like. How I went from being what I thought was good at that and thinking that that was what was going to make me become somebody. I thought, you know, football and basketball, baseball is what was going to make me be somebody. And I'm not even knocking the man because so many of my friends, it's a lot of my friends that I went to school with from elementary, middle to high school that all went on to play pro sports. Like, I have a lot of friends that have made it to the pros. A lot of friends. And, uh, or even just made it to college ball. Like, a lot of friends. And so, 
you know, I'm I'm definitely a fan of all of theirs. You know, everybody that was that that made it, everybody went to college and played. I'm a fan. You know, if I went to school with you, because I know what it took for you to get there. I know it wasn't an easy road to get there. I I know when I watch the NFL or the NBA or, the, or MLB or you know whatever on why any sport, any professional sport, I know it was not easy to get there. No matter if that's your, a sport that you like or appreciate or not, man, people are putting in real work to get to these levels, and I know because I put in real work or some work. Not that I want to say real work. I put in some work and, and was not successful in that and, and making it there. So I know that the people who did make it there had to do more work than what I was doing. And I felt like it, at one point I felt I was doing a lot of work. Uh, but what was for them was for them. And, you know, many of them are blessed to, to have, you know, accomplish what they have accomplished. But... It still comes back to my story and what I'm here to do and what I have to do uh, in my time on earth. So I was in my thoughts and, and just thinking about that, like how I went from that and thinking I was going to be a football or basketball star or something like that to not being a star or anything, you know what I said, an athlete or none of that, and um, to be doing what I'm doing now. You know, this is nowhere near what I thought I was supposed to be doing when I was in, you know, middle school, high school. Um, but I believe that what I'm doing now has been so much more uh, beneficial to who I want to be or, or, or to... Uh, how I want to spend the rest of my life, you know. Man, if somebody called me today and gave me the opportunity to go play some pro sports, if it's just for a game, man, I would I would definitely take it. I would take it just because, you know, I wouldn't sit here and, and be like, yeah, I know that, you know, I didn't make it in basketball, football, but, you know what I'm saying, it ain't nothing I wanted to do. No, I really wanted to do that, you know what I'm saying? So... Uh, man, if I was given one chance to go out there and suit up one time and play any professional sport or sit on the bench, I would definitely take that opportunity just to say I did it one time. Most definitely. Uh, but until that phone call comes, you know, I'm going to be over here doing this kind of work. Um, but my point was there's still going to be a reward for me after this now, that's my belief that's my belief now but not because I'm so great of a person or great of a guy but because I understand now that everybody's journey is different everybody's path does not look the same and you have to be okay with whatever your path looks like. But you have to understand what your purpose is. And if you fulfill your purpose in life, then that's really what matters. It's not uh, whether or not you know me from professional sports or not. Because there are some people in professional sports or who were in professional sports who it didn't turn out well for after the fact, you know? And so for me, that goes to show that it's not so much about what you're making, but it's about what your mind understands. And um, this might not make any sense at all. So this might be one of those ones that's just for me, but... Um, I was telling all that story about who I was and, you know, because it was like based on who I was and when I was, you know, held in a high regard for sports in my neighborhood, I thought that was going to, because people pumped me up for it, that that was going to be what I was going to have to be successful at in order to be considered successful. 
but I understand now that uh, that's not necessarily true all the time, you know, and that what I am doing now uh, can offer me the same levels of success. And it's doing what I genuinely uh, enjoy doing. It's being who I genuinely am. It's knowing that, no, I'm not a, a, a football, basketball player. Uh, I love, you know what I'm saying, my time playing. And uh, I do enjoy watching some Alabama football um, or, or, you know, uh Certain NFL teams or players that I like, really, I really like players more than teams. Uh, certain NBA players that I enjoy. Uh, but beyond that, beyond what they do on the court, uh, I'm really into the people that are really outside doing the work for real. Not just being your favorite athlete, but you know, the person that's going back and provides some opportunities uh, for their community or the communities they grew up in or the communities that they uh, play ball in, you know. Um, and so I think that me going this method and, 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 you know, figuring out life the way that I've had to figure life out, I think that it puts me in a position to... Uh, keep my ear and, and, and uh, keep my ear and my eyes on uh, the people the people that are suffering the people that are are, are, are going through and, and barely making it you know um, and wanting to be able to be of service to them, you know, and I understand that I first have to be of service to myself in order to even offer a service to anybody else. So, you know, that's, that's been the, the process. That's been the journey is, is getting myself together so that I can, you know, really make an impact on my community and do something to, to bring about change from what it currently is, you know, and how, my people are currently having to live. But, uh, I guess what, I gotta make another run. Um, I guess what I really wanted to get at with this whole video is that in saying all this that I'm saying, I wouldn't know this, I wouldn't be able to do this, I wouldn't be able to talk about this if I didn't first know who I was and learn to figure out what my purpose is, what I'm here to do, and and uh, accept what my purpose is, and knowing that, you know, in accepting my purpose, I may not have the, the football story. I may not have the basketball story. I may not have the uh, musical artist story, you know, as what I'm known for. I mean, it could be, you know, something that's a part of me or something that I do, something that you may know me for, but that may not be the thing that people most know me for, you know? It might come in a form of something um, that I didn't even initially believe was going to be my thing. You know, like, you know, it could be known for these videos. It could be known for my podcast. It could be known for my work in the community, you know. Um, but all of that is important as long as people are fulfilling their purpose some people purpose might be to play football or basketball you know and that might be how they make their impact on the world but mine was was different football wasn't it for me <laughs> football or basketball wasn't it for me so 
you know, I'm, I'm just uh, understanding and accepting that and, 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 you know, working to just position myself to be able to be exactly what I know I'm supposed to be. I'm not expecting anybody to do any favors for me or give me any handouts. I'm out here trying to do the work. I'm not trying, I'm doing the work. Doing the work necessary to make an impact. But all of this summed up. My point is and what I want y'all to know is that you got to be okay with being you, though. You know, I guess there's a though at the end. You got to be okay with being you. You know, if I ignore my purpose to have, you know what I'm saying, let's spend my whole life um, because my friends were successful with basketball, that now I got to, man, I... I gotta go so hard with basketball because I don't want to be the one friend that what that didn't make it with basketball. So now, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Or, or same thing with football. Now I'm feeling like I'm a failure because I didn't make it to professional football or didn't make it to professional basketball. But that's not the case because, you know, there's a select few who make it to that level, and 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 for those people, man. They deserve to be there, you know. They deserve, they put that work in. And the way it is, it's a very competitive market. There are some people who deserve to be there who aren't there, you know. But only a select few are even going to make it. So it, 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 it's, it's not a fail. It's not that you're a failure. It's the way that it's designed. They only have this many teams because they want to keep it condensed to the the best of the best of the best. And every day you got to go out there and work and fight to be considered one of the best in order for you to have a spot. And that's that's cool, you know. I mean, I, I, I admire those guys who go out there and do that on a daily basis. However, that's not the way it worked out for me. So I got to be okay with being me. I got to be okay with understanding that Okay, it's not a, a big-time basketball career. It's not a big-time football career for you, all right? But you still have value in this earth. You still have value in this life. And I gotta, I've had to go dig deep. I had to heal those wounds of feeling like I failed at, at, because I didn't make it to basketball or football or track or none of these things. I didn't even go to college at first. You know, but I had to get over those things and realize I wasn't a failure because I didn't do those things. You know, I had to just be okay with being me and my story, you know. So I want to encourage y'all to be okay with your story. Your story may look different from the person next to you. Your pers your story, you may didn't make it to the professional league. You may didn't make it to the college that you want to go to, but your story is not over until you close your eyes. So what are you going to do to write your story? You know, what is your story going to look like? When people hear your story, what would they what would they think? What would they say? It's up to you. Peace and love.